Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature in Microsoft Stream. So, um, I go to the nine dots and I choose for Stream and actually I will get to this page. Um, I see some uh, videos that I have uploaded. I can also open them from uh, SharePoint or OneDrive. So let's open this uh, video and it opens up in in the stream app now if I go to the video settings I have a new option of adding audio files the idea from what I understand is for instance if the video is in one language and you want users um, let's say to to follow in a different language what you can do is to upload a audio file and then the users can actually um, choose uh, to view it uh, as alternative. So what I did, what I did was actually I went to um, PowerPoint and I went to Recordings and chose Audio and gave the a name to it and started recording one two three one two three, and then now I stopped it. And actually now I have an audio, I can right click and I can save the media as, uh, it saves it as a M4A, but uh, according to what I see now, it's possible also MP3 or all kinds of possibilities. We will see it uh, in a second. So let, let me actually give a name, I'll call it Ami. And actually now I can upload this file. Here I can choose the language. And I can also, so you see there's all, all kinds of languages, an audio uh, description file, not sure what it is. But here you see all of the possibilities. Um, M4A, MP3, OGG, WAVE, WMA, and if we click here, we probably can see more information about using uh, audio tracks in stream. So you see actually there's the whole uh, information. We will continue. And I have click, clicked on select file. I choose on the file and I see the file is here. I click upload and now actually it will upload the file and then in the video actually we will see a new icon that we didn't have before so um, okay let's play it now you will see uh, in addition to the no noise suppressor or, and the caption we have an audio track so we can see what the user will see in the audio uh, in the original, um, what he sees, the original. But what we uploaded now, actually, we can choose the English. And then the user will hear the alternative audio instead of what's in the video. Uh, because I'm recording now, you cannot hear that. But actually, uh, believe me that he can switch between the original uh, audio that is in the video and the alternative. Uh, just uh, as an example, let's upload another uh, file. Uh, let's say that this is uh, Dutch, and I'll upload a document, another file, which is called this. And you will see, actually, users will have uh, different choices to choose between different languages. Uh, there will be the original and there will be uh, the alternative that they can choose. So this is a new feature. Here we see three dots. We can download it or delete it. So um, this might help for multi-language uh, presentations or videos that we want the users to have. Um, besides the transcription also and the captions also an audio possibility. So. This is what I wanted to show you. If you like my channel, subscribe and goodbye.